Welcome to the You Persevere podcast. I'm your host, Patty Post. I am the founder and CEO of Checkable, where we are making at-home diagnostics and telemedicine so you can diagnose your symptoms from home and see a provider without having to go into the doctor. I have this podcast so entrepreneurs, business owners, that you can get tips and tricks and even just some solid advice or hear my stories on what I've done, what I didn't do, and hopefully it will help you in your business, whether that's motivation or whether that's work through things. Uh, So today I'm just talking about some uh, personal performance, one thing that I am changing and I decided on it last night. One thing that I'm changing is I deleted my social media apps on my phone and I just noticed something after being aware of how we look for dopamine hits. And I caught myself that every time after I got out of my uh, email that I would directly go into Instagram or I'd go into TikTok or LinkedIn or Facebook. And so what I deleted was Instagram and TikTok. And we're very active on Instagram and TikTok on uh, Patty Post CEO is my personal page. So follow that. And then uh, TikTok and Instagram. And then Checkable is our social pages for all pages. And you say, well, follow. Why should I follow you? You must not be very active. No, I am active. But what I'm doing is I'm having our uh, third party put all of my content together. So I'm going to record the content and I'm just going to give it to them. And then they're going to post it. They're going to do what they want with it. I'm going to give my uh, sort of the quote or the message overall that I want to say. But what was happening is that I would go into these social media platforms and there's a few things that I would always do. One, I would look at my own post to see who's commenting, um, who's liking, how far the reach is going, if there's an increase of followers on either Checkable or my own page. And then I would get into everyone else's stuff. So I would look at, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very into fitness and personal development. So I'd hear about all of that stuff. And then I would look at political stuff, news, uh, current events. Then I'd get some entertainment in there, you know, Betches travel. It's hilarious. Uh, I mean, just like really random memes. TikTok, give me an animal video and I'm all over that. I'll laugh. I'll send it to everyone. There's some people I never even talk to. All I'm doing is sending them things that I find funny. A lot of times, even with my kids, that they'll send me lots of stuff that are on TikTok and Instagram, which that's one part of me. I'm like, Ugh, I'm going to give that up. Like that's a fun connection that I have. It's very, it's very social. It's a way to laugh. And then when I see them, then we laugh about it. But what I decided was the time that it takes to get all of that together, it just isn't worth it. What I'm doing is I'm distracting my brain from what I was working on rather than going to the next task. It's like, I deserve a little break. And what I'm relating this to is a lot of this is just like with my drinking is that I would allow myself after work, I would allow myself after work, a glass of wine and I would allow myself a glass of wine because I had such a long day. I worked so hard. This was so much, um, this is so much for me. And it wasn't serving me after that. It served that one purpose. Like I was getting a little um, escape, a little release through that. But then it just like, I felt empty. There wasn't, I felt gross. Um, And that's sort of the same way I feel with this social media is that, so then I go down a wormhole of something and I come out of it and I'm like, what did I just accomplish? Absolutely nothing nothing. Like, yes, I got that dopamine hit, but could I do something else? Could I go for a walk? Could I, could I pray? Could I journal? Could I 
do some of these things. Like right now I'm putting my data room together and I have a list of things that I have to have in that data room. And there's some searching and then you need to download it and then you need to upload it into Carta. Takes a lot of time. And instead of sitting on my social media, if I took that time to go look for those documents every time that I wanted to not check my email or respond back or work on a um, PowerPoint or after a meeting, um, you know, I a lot of times have six, seven meetings a day. Instead of releasing on TikTok and Instagram, there's healthier things that I can do. So that was part of my, you just listened to the last podcast. Uh, the last podcast was um, circumstances do not change responsibility. And that is that going through my head is what made me get to this point of holy shit, that social media is taking really valuable time out of my life and not serving me at all. The other place that I think that I use it too much is when I'm bored. And when I'm bored, you know, you're waiting for someone to come on to a meeting and I'll just quick pull up my phone. Oh, look at this. And I'll be laughing. And then I'll, I'll send something to someone in a waiting room, in a traffic, like you're sitting at a, at a light. Oh, I'll pull up my phone and just scroll bad. And, and even like when I'm with my kids, like, why am I sitting on social media? They're right there with me and they'll be sitting on social media too. And here I'm telling them they need to get off of social media, but then here I am using it. Like I'm totally addicted. Um, so not great. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be missing out on anything. Feels, feels just right. And I did it last night when I was at the gym, pulled them up, deleted it off of my phone. So I'll give an update on that. That's like part of my personal performance. I can do better. Um, but I do put a lot of stuff out there that I think is really important because I know a lot of people do like social media. And if you're not at the point that I am, uh, then that's fine because I found a lot of value in it too. Uh, but I want to be putting out consistent content and I want to be focused on my next stage of business and that's commercialization and absolutely crushing it. I want to dominate in 2023 and 2024 more than anyone has ever before in this space. And I can't do it if I'm just sitting there scrolling. So those are my responsibilities. I got to do it and get her done. So it's another area that I am working on. Deleting the social media apps. Deleting them. Do I do LinkedIn? No, I'm going to take that off too. Now that I think about it, I actually did it this morning, went on LinkedIn. It's just like, I'm trained to do this. I've trained myself. No one else is. It's like, these are the self-sabotage things that we've done. And if you're going to be, you know, if you're, if you are okay with just being like, oh, I'm getting by and I don't think of peak performance. This isn't anything that I want to do. Um, all right, then this isn't for you. And then you probably think I'm crazy. So <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people do, which is fine. Uh, but I'm trying to be the absolute best version of myself and I'm trying to crush it. So with that, I hope you follow us uh, at Checkable, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok. And we do have some at Checkable Health. But if you start searching at Checkable, we'll pull up. Uh, and then Patty Post CEO. And because we're doing some awesome things, uh, really sign up for our emails. We're doing uh, great emails. Our our brand is for moms. We make um, no uh, bones about that. But we have uh, some great products launching. We have our telemedicine, our app. Uh, we have four products for women that we're launching. Two breast milk strips. One to measure alcohol, the other to measure nutritional value. And then we have two tests in women's health, one a rapid UTI test and then a vaginal pH test. So that rapid uh, UTI test goes great with our UTI prevent uh, supplement. And then the vaginal pH, uh, that's really testing the pH of, of your body, which you can use it once a week. Uh, you can use it every day if you want to. Some people do. And then the breast milk strips, obviously, if you're nursing, uh, this is where these breast milk strips will come in on alcohol. 
how fast does your body metabolize that alcohol? And then uh, on the second one, nutritional value, it measures for calcium, zinc, and protein. Uh, so we will have a supplement to follow up with that uh, diagnostic as well. And then, of course, our telemedicine. So if you do test positive for your UTI uh, or your pH is out of balance, then you can see a telemedicine provider for a prescription that you pick up at your neighborhood pharmacy. So that's what we're focused on right now. And then submission of our strep test. And uh, we are launching on checkable.com, uh, on Amazon. We also are working with a new distributor and then lots of other distributors and wholesales, wholesalers that are around the country that do sell B2B. Uh, so we are going to be in a town near you. So that's why for me personally, I can't be on the social media platforms. I've got to focus on what this new area of business is and what we're launching into. So for me, that's what I'm doing. Uh, and I also think that growing a list, like an email list, putting time into podcasts like this, bringing content out uh, is really where I need to put my time and not into just mindlessly scrolling. So that's how I'm persevering in business right now. Uh, it's going to be, it's a week at home and the next week we're in New York. Uh, for Founder Made, we have a huge conference that uh, we're launching to, and it's going to be fantastic. So, lots of um, head down activities this week, and it's another week. It's another day to excel. So, I hope you keep on persevering with business. If you have questions, if you have any recommendations, uh, please message me. Five stars on this uh, podcast. I really appreciate it. The more uh, stars that we get and reviews, the better the algorithm so we can uh, reach that in that top 100 of the entrepreneurship podcast. Uh, that is a personal goal of mine that by the end of 2023, we can be in the top 100. I want to be one of those females in there. Just badass. I love that. So many awesome men that are already achieving it. And I have gotten so much from them. And so I have things my own way. Love to um, create this content for all of you. So thank you so much for listening. And until next time, keep persevering in business.